Oh, they're all women and the sea spirit. Isabella was old. Her garden was too big, big for her tired back. Her children were grown. No one needs me. No one, no one need me anymore. She thought. She left her village. She's moved into a small shade by the seahorse where she lived alone. One night there was a storm. Storm. The sea wolves came out to hunt. As they only did when the ocean were fierce, they howled, riding and row waved. The next morning, the beach. Lizards with clam that had washed ashore. What a feast! Isabella thought. She picked up a sham. Inside was a tiny frightened child. She had silver hair and silver fish tail. You must, you must be the little spirit of the sea, Isabella said. I bet you were hiding from the those who see what. She murdered. The little girl hesitated between the two. The little girl hesitated between the two women. It is time. What? A little hesitated between the two women. It is time for you to go home, Isabella said with a goodbye song. Isabella and her mother slipped it beneath the wave. No one need me any more. Isabella wept. She thought about returning to her village. She feared that they would would not welcome a lonely old woman. She stayed alone by the sea. One windy day, Isabella saw a flash of silver in the wave. It was Sanana. She danced in the water, singing a mystery song. It sounded like. Howling, sea wolf. Then, a, then with a powerful splash, she dove beneath the wave. Is there another storm coming? Isabella wondered. I must warn my villager. Isabella marched through the wind. She went to the wise woman house in the village. A sea spirit warns me that a bad storm is coming. Isabella said. A sea spirit. Spirit, the wise woman gasped. I care for the little one. When she washed ashore during a storm, Isabella said, "Please, Isabella, please, Isabella, stay with us in the village." The wise woman said, "Oh, no one needs me any more." Isabella said sadly. That's not true, Isabella. The wise woman said, "The sea, the sea spirit needed you. Our fisherman needed you to warn, warn us. The whole village worry about being alone at the sea. You be alone at the sea." Isabella was surprised to hear that she did not think anyone cared about a lonely old woman. As long as you care for others, someone will always always need you," the wise woman said. Isabella stayed in the village during the storm. Her neighbor welcomed her. They ate and talked and laughed together. The next morning, the storm moved on. Isabella looked toward the sea. She thought she saw a flash of silver, silver in the wave. Thank you. Thank you, sea daughter," she called.